Yo, man, welcome back to the channel, okay? Uh, bro, bro, let me just say this to you. Make sure you go out. Make sure you have fun in your life. Make sure you go do things with your friends and make experiences, take videos, take pictures. You never know when you're going to be able to do that shit again. But at the same time, don't let that take over your life. You still got to wake up. You still got to grind. You still got to go to work, okay? You still got to put in effort. You don't put in effort. That effort's not going to show you effort. I don't know. All right, uh, let's get into it, bro. Uh, Hawaii Paradise turned into hell. Tyler Oliveira. You're not going to become a Hawaiian. If you're coming, then leave. Go back to the mainland. We ain't afraid of you guys here. Bro, what do we even do? You're not from Maui. <laughs> Oh, we do white people, okay? White people? Like, really, really Fuck. expensive. My, my baby sister had to move. Her and her family moved to Las Vegas to survive. Everybody getting priced out of paradise. Every year, 15,000 plus native Hawaiians leave Hawaii that to the mainland, which now has more Hawaiians than Hawaii itself. With the median house costing 1.1 million plus dollars, the local Hawaiians Wait, are being what? itself. With the median house costing one point. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy fuck! Yo, we could. Point one million oh, we could. plus dollars. The local Hawaiians are being priced out of paradise. Oh my gosh! Millionaires we're buy cut, second bro. vacation homes. So Airbnb good. entrepreneurs rent out we're their apartments so to tourists. Billionaires buy entire islands. And mainlanders move to Hawaii. The locals are unable to afford the rapid increase in the cost of living. That's fucked up, low key. Not even low key. High key. That's fucked up. Turning places like Waikiki, the symbol of Honolulu's bustling tourism, into a dumping ground for homeless Hawaiians. But with nearly 24% of Hawaii's economy reliant on tourism, are tourists even welcome in Hawaii anymore? Don't come and don't buy land. Simple as that. Hawaii is the number one most exp- Well, bitch, this is the United States of America. You understand me? Nah, but that is fucked up. I won't lie. Expensive state in America while ranking number four in homelessness. How much longer will Hawaii have Hawaiians. Uh, has it gotten really expensive to live out here recently, or has it always been that way? It's gotten really expensive. Yeah? If you were to try to, I don't know, get a place right now, how much do you think that would cost for, like, a studio apartment? Oh, my gosh. It's like, really, really expensive. Why are you coming to talk to me? Oh, I want to ask you, um... I don't you? like shit. Nothing from you, man. I don't need nothing from you. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, we do white people, okay? White people? Fair enough. What I do? No, your people fool. Fair enough, brother. Uh, this is, like, just in real time, but... The Europeans did to uh, Native Americans. God damn! Ain't nobody talking about this. Where are you from originally? Originally from Ohio. Okay. Been Ohio. Here for Twenty years. Do you consider yourself uh, local at this point? Absolutely. All are my you? grandbabies are local. Do you feel welcomed here? Shut or up, is there bitch. Sort of contention? <laughs> we were welcomed. We were loved. Can you explain the white people concept? That's co like the how they? Yeah, white people. White people? Yeah. Because. Hawaii needs visitors. Hawaii Tyler's needs white? people to love the island like we do. Where did you live on the mainland? I lived in Michigan. Mm -hmm. like so you came out here and the, the plan was to figure it out kind of when you got here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, we get swept everywhere. I just got swept again that last Thursday. Took everything I owned, everything. Do you have any current plans of getting off the streets and I look, cop right there? Yep. Yeah. How long have you been out here, Sid? 20 years. 20 years? When I had to quit my job, I gained my freedom. There's no more having to abide by anybody's rules. I can be out here, I can be free. Hell fucking yeah. And this is why I say that all of us should just not go to work. What are they gonna do? Fire all of us? They literally, they can. They can't fire all of us. Yeah. I've been camping ever since I was a kid. So for me, this is nothing but camping. You might be surprised to notice how many people from the mainland are on these streets. And that's because many people come here from the mainland to be homeless in Hawaii. With a beautiful view of the ocean, why not just set up a tent on the beach? I love it here. Yeah. I do. I mean, even as hard as it is out here, I still love it here. Usually yeah. I work a little bit and everything like that, but then I just like to skate. Oh Looking for that perfect No way. more taxes, no more BS, no more stress. Yeah, dude, yeah. you know, I got a puppy, like I said, my friend freaking... Yeah, so you can show me a little, your crib tour. So you have that inflatable setup to lay your body on? Basically it. That's it. We need help. You say you got housing for the homeless? Yeah. Where is it? Um, I have a friend of mine, her name is Angela, and she works every day. She works the graveyard shift at the airport, and she's homeless. 
there are people out here who got jobs and they can't afford housing. Aloha. All right, we're seeing tents Dang. strewn along every aspect of this beach. Tent after tent after tent. It's pretty unreal just how many people are out here. What's your name? Bob. Bob, good to meet you, Bob. How did you end up on the beach out here? If you want to watch extended convos with guys like Bob, DLC content Bob. with Unc, who you'll meet later in this video, exclusive videos never uploaded to YouTube, and early access to every video of mine before it goes up on YouTube, you can subscribe to my Patreon at patreon.com slash Tyler Oliveira for as little as five bucks a month. Help support our boots on the ground journalism and go watch the Hawaii DLC content after you finish watching this, and then stay tuned and watch all of Is it pretty easy like with the it. weather? I like it. Yeah. How'd you end up? here on the beach couldn't pay rent how much was your rent at the time uh at least five for studio like um shack really up in nanakuli so a lot of people getting priced out of the homes out here pretty much yeah do you have any family members or friends who have moved to the mainland because it got too expensive out here absolutely so i'm one of six kids and i am the only one currently living oh. here in hawaii where do they go one went to ohio okay. oh, two's wow. in nevada in reno one's in uh washington and one's kind of floating all over and they yeah. left for better job opportunities better wages for the most part yeah the problem right now is that people who are purchasing second homes and Airbnb entrepreneurs are renting out these long-term housing units, turning He's them into short-term housing Airbnb units, Airbnb. decreasing the available long-term housing supply, driving prices up, and making it nearly impossible for some of these locals to pay rent, much less own a home. But look at that view. Oh, it's kind of the same situation in um, everything down south, actually. Northerners move down south and increase prices, and then Southerners can't fucking buy shit. Who wouldn't want to live? That's why they hate here. all of this us. This is paradise. So I met up with lifetime Honolulu resident David to understand the culture of Hawaii a little more and the underlying tensions between Hawaiians, locals, and white people. David, how long have you lived here in Hawaii? 25 years, born and raised. Okay, but are you Hawaiian? I'm not Hawaiian. I'm Italian, Filipino. Would the locals here consider you Hawaiian? No, definitely not. What does it mean to be a Hawaiian out here? It means to have have some semblance of Hawaiian blood. Are the locals living here in Waikiki? No, definitely not. It's majority tourists. There are some buildings here that people live in, but they're like multi-million dollar building uh, apartments yeah. and maybe median or average price right now. Last I checked, maybe a year or two ago was like 700 grand for yeah. a house on island. And that's nothing in this area. That's on the other parts of the island. It's definitely not something that local people can afford. We're headed to Kahala. This is the Beverly Hills of Honolulu. David, is that true? Who lives there? Well, I think the most notable person who lives there is Kiero Midi. Are. He's the founder of eBay. Is there anything out here it's safe to say? Definitely. Elon. No? Pro definitely eBay, over Elon. A million. You're not going to find anything less than that here. So that's a nice little mansion right there. Little mansion right there. Cyber truck all the way out here. I mean, lots of doctors, lawyers, accountants, financiers live out there. Like, it's not uncommon to see a Ferrari pull into a garage or a Bentley. One of my buddies lives in a, a tower and he was telling me, you know, the building I used to live in, like 40% of it is unoccupied because a lot of international investors buy up those properties and just leave it vacant. So that's gonna piss off a lot of locals out here who are getting priced up into apartments they can barely afford? Yeah, definitely. And they're building like little sustainable mobile homes and little encampments. Where... This is bougie out here, David. What is this? Yes, sir, Kahala Hotel. Okay. There's dolphins around here for sure. Dolphins? Look at him. There he is. Nice. And you like being in this little pond? Yeah, Damn. you know, if they, uh... Didn't, they would show us signs that they had lesser welfare. So like think, dolphin depression? Basically, yeah. So you have like light eyes, light hair, you're white. Um, yep. How has that experience been out here? Is it pretty chill or is there a friction? Yeah, so I'm Holly, by stay in my lane. One of the reasons- Holly is a Hawaiian term for individuals who are not native Hawaiian and is applied to people primarily of European ancestry. Okay. reasons that it actually took me a while to decide to move out here was because I knew I was moving to an actively colonized landscape. So I do it. You're American. The fuck? But I can to make sure that I am being respectful, that I am letting other people's voices be elevated above mine. If they're coming out to visit, come out and visit and do so responsibly. If you are just coming out here because you just want to have a party, maybe think about where you're going. Maybe go to Miami, you know? All right, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Would it be fair to say this is a uh, gentrified neighborhood out here do any locals live out here do we think definitely not i mean you might have some families but... what we do in america yeah 
conquer, baby. Yeah. Uh, second generation, and like the property was passed down to them. But and look at that view. It's gorgeous, and breathtaking. Holy. Yeah. Damn. Most. And while it's no surprise, people want to move here and have a. T Fuck, and I get pissed because there's no Insta, bro. Insta paradise for themselves. The hitting cost is many native Hawaiians are simply being priced out, forced to move to the mainland, or work two to three jobs to survive. So, to curb the displacement of Hawaiians, in 1921, uh, Congress passed the Hawaiian Homes Commissions Act, okay, setting word. aside roughly 200,000 acres of land to homestead the native Hawaiians, allowing Hawaiians with 50% or more Hawaiian blood to be eligible to receive some of this land. But didn't they do that in, uh, where is it? Shiza. I forgot where it was. It was somewhere. Uh, I watched it in a Tommy G video. They basically did the same thing for Native Americans. And uh, they like, promised them money or some shit. And they're all severe alcoholics now. Drinking fucking hand sanitizer and shit. Because that's just it. Like, the government fucked them. Fucked them real bad. No lube, nothing. Just fucking... And what some Hawaiians say this is a Western like, concept that has no basis in any of like, their traditions like or how they determine who is Hawaiian. Like the whole blood quantum concept is a Western concept. Got it. Being Hawaiian is not only like a race classification. It was, it's like it's kind of hard to explain, but it's like a holistic way of living where the people are connected to the land. And so it's, in a way, it's like the kind of stewards of the land. The people are connected to the land. And so it's, in a way, it's like the kind of stewards of the land. But my on? uncle who lives in Maui, he's, he's a des descendant of royal, Hawaiian royalty. And like he's got stories about how his auntie would teach him, like, if you see the, the waves that are crashing at this angle and hitting the cliffs this way, that means you're going to be able to find mangoes in this part of the forest. <laughs> It's like being able to read nature and being one at nature. So we pulled up on David Maui? Tommy Jamin, who is a local like David, but has Hawaiian blood unlike David. What does he think of the Americanification of Hawaii since its occupation? 1893, the United States annexes Hawaii. What, what are your thoughts on that? What, are your, what is your family's perspective on? Is this currently occupied land? Did, Actually, uh, 1893 was the overthrow. Okay. Uh, the annexation was uh, in 98. Okay. What does annexation mean? Excuse my ignorance. So it was its own re republic for about like five years before they officially got the U.S. to annex it. Every every island though has had their king, and I think Big oh, Island Mokuokiave was specifically allied with Great Britain. Okay. And I think every kingdom had. Fuck the English. God damn, I fucking hate you, English people. Had their own nation that they were pulling from. Kind so of. like Russia was involved in. Kind this. Of. France was in. I'm kind of joking. All right, I'm kind of joking. Great people. If we play you in the World Cup, though, I fucking hate your guts. I fucking hate all of your guts. Okay? And I think America had another, another interest in another island. But great people, um, but that's love why the accent. I actually wanted to be. You gotta a part be joking, like I don't know. Great Britain for that, like, and it, uh, like loyal protection. <laughs> Everyone fuck wants Hawaii, up, right? Bro. Perfect what location in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, <laughs> especially for the U.S. Yeah, I mean, that's why they wanted Pearl Harbor. You know, I mean, I guess without it, like, you can't really dominate or operate in the Pacific, and that's also a big reason why Japan came after us. I some point once they bring guns tasers you know weapons what do you think that means you know like for us if we retaliate we're looked at as like terrorists you know sure. like it's a game of force bro for real like some of the hawaiians feel like we're st obviously you're still occupied right most people feel that yeah. way i just think that's a subliminal reality at Ugh. the end of the day if you did want to practice certain things about your culture and do things in a certain way you would have to step on some federal laws you would have to deal with some consequences by the police or whoever you know whatever jurisdiction is holding over that part of the land for most hawaiians you're, you're not going to find 100 percent hawaiian you know most hawaiians you find is either going to be chinese japanese filipino holly or whatever you know so like we're all mixed and to be really hawaiian is like to be able to like track where you're from you know and to know your lineage Damn. and your ancestry and okay wait a second it's like to be I'm, able to I'm like track confused where on you're this. from you know how did these motherfuckers get here, right? Like, I, I, I don't, I don't um, know. To know your lineage nah, like, and your ancestry. That shit Once gets you me bury confused. enough of your ancestors' bones here, like, you're kind of attached, you know? Sure. And that's where the life force is, you know? That's where the mana is. Beyond housing, what makes it expensive to live out here as a, as a Hawaiian? Gas, 
groceries. Promote. What are the words that start with G? We got like nine <laughs> what? <laughs> like milk gallons or what? Yeah. yeah. Everybody shops at Costco, bro. You can't afford to not. Like. If you take away the hotels, you decrease all the infrastructure for tourism, what jobs are the, the locals working out here? Or do they just tend to the land and we go back to like a communal, simple agrarian setup where people, you know, have gardens and they give to each other and barter? Where do the jobs go if we take away all the tourism? We, we can't really create new industries okay. being a part of America with American law. Like we would have to create new laws to do different things differently. Pretty much like so much would have to change to make the industries um, appear or, or be strengthened, you know, like, okay. like, because most of our money is not tourism, bro. It, that's like a facade, bro. Like, we could survive without it. It's not like an anti-America stance. It's just a pro-Hawaii stance. Since European contact beginning with the arrival of Captain Cook in 1778 and through the spread of deadly diseases like smallpox, measles, and whooping cough, the native Hawaiian population was Sorry. reduced by roughly 90% over the next 70 years. <laughs> the native Hawaiian Wait, population was decimated. <laughs> like smallpox, measles, and whooping cough, the native Hawaiian population was reduced by roughly 90% over the next 70 years. My bad, dude. My bad. The native Hawaiian population was decimated and not interested in working sugar plantations. Groups of immigrants from China, Japan, Philippines, and later Puerto Rico and Portugal immigrated to Hawaii to work the land for three to five year contracts in a form of indentured servitude. One may call it just a better branded name for what you may know as slavery. Fast forward years later, in 1921, as Hawaii is rapidly becoming a melting pot of many cultures, the homestead program sets aside pieces of land to appease Hawaiians' ancestral claims to the land like the one Jamin's family lives in right now. We're in the burbs, but the homestead burbs. And from my understanding, they're allowed to live here this for cheap. Up. That's the big plus here. You're getting rewarded for having ancestral ties to this land and being a certain percentage blood quantum Hawaiian. How long did it take for your family to get a homestead? Um, you know, I'm not exactly sure how long it took us, but you know, everyone in my dad's family got on the list at some point. You're kind of like, you know, a little lucky to get like something offered, you know? This is a big crib, right? I expected like a, I don't know, maybe like an apartment or like no, a, no. this is a nice family house. This is a, this is a five bedroom, okay. three wow. bedroom. How so. much do you think that goes for if this was not on the homestead? A mill? Probably more, bro. Actually? Yeah. And then the land, you, you get sell like it? a 99 Now here's year. the thing, can you sell it? Because if you can sell it for a milli and then just move to the mainland, like fucking Arkansas. Shit, now we thinking. They probably won't let you sell it. You could sell it. Actually, no, they probably no. It's probably like generations. Or Your lease shit. or something like that, and you pay like a hundred dollars off the bat for the ninety-nine years of living. So every single family yeah. here has some blood tie or blood claim to like being Hawaiian and for sure. Yeah. yeah, you can't get it. This is kind of you know segregation, low key, so. man. That's you just keeping all the Hawaiian sex to each other. Probably was one of the coolest spots to like grow up in because like everybody who's lives here is Hawaiian style, you know? Like like we have whole block parties, bro, raging to like late in the night. No cops are called, you know? But Jamin's sister Tate had a few other thoughts worth considering. So I'm here with? Uh, I think Kelly Ho'omalu. Did you grow up here? We grew up in Kahuku, which is on the North Shore, um, on Oahu. Do, do you think you'll ever move out of Hawaii and go to the man? No? That was quick. Tell me why. Uh, cause it's our home. Yeah. Yeah. Our culture and identity is here. So there's no, yeah, we're not, at least for native Hawaiians, we don't, this is our home. So we don't like to flock away from it. And Fair also enough. too, I, I, I really don't believe in purchasing land or having land ownership outside of like my genealogical ties. Okay. In your opinion, what does it mean to be a Hawaiian? Well, there is no opinion to be honest. Okay. If you're native, if you have blood, then you're Hawaiian. If you don't, any amount of blood? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter. So I was no asking... percentages. Um, I feel like our generation though is like better at like breaking those things. If you're Hawaiian, you're Hawaiian. Okay. Yeah. There's no blood quantum. We don't. We don't believe in that thing. So even let's say I'm like blonde hair, blue eyed, white, like true. I guess Haole. Could I be Hawaiian? If you have Hawaiian blood, you can. Okay. Yeah. I can be a local, but not a Hawaiian, right? Yeah. Correct. It's similar to like. I mean. I don't know demographic wise, yeah. but it's like if you're from the if you live in the hood, would you call yourself black? No, I get what you're saying. 
Uh, do you think Hawaii would be better off if it was no longer part of the United States? Would that be a good thing for Hawaii or ultimately a bad thing? Well, I don't see it as a part of the United States. Okay. Um, but do I think it should be unoccupied? Absolutely, 100%. Okay. We're talking yeah. the military bases should... Absolutely. Okay. Gone. What is the United States of America mean to you when, when you think of the USA as a country as Hawaii's role in it is it just like a subjugator I think the United States is stupid but my main concern is that they illegally occupy Hawaii so I don't think that they should have at least jurisdiction here in Hawaii with governance okay as a Hawaiian what are your thoughts on the tourists that come here to Hawaii don't come yeah come but leave if you're coming then leave and don't buy land and don't own land here simple as that what are your thoughts on the folks that come here maybe buy a second third home a vacation home Maybe a full-on tower because I'm a billionaire and then I don't even use half it. Don't don't do it. Don't yeah. do it. Yeah, it's not your right to. And um, unfortunately, I think almost 50% of Hawaiians don't live in Hawaii, which is so unfortunate. And it's only going to get worse. What, what like, if they respected the culture, respected it as you see it, and respect it, assimilated into your culture rather than trying to impose their own onto? Like they're your guests, let's say. Guests leave. Okay. Mic drop. But most people come here with the right intentions, anyways. But they don't know that what they're doing is actually wrong. Now, if you are saying, then do your part in getting educated and respect culture. You're not gonna become a Hawaiian and like you're not gonna become black when you move to Compton. These people, you know, buy a second home, they decrease the supply of available housing. Therefore, the available, housing, therefore, the available housing goes up in prices yep. and then yeah. locals can't afford to rent them. Exactly. And this has in turn led to Hawaiian locals to create these huge villages in the woods, living off the land and off the grid in Hawaii at whatever the cost. As I was driving past this park, I noticed a massive encampment hidden in the woods. We pulled up with some Costco pizzas and asked if we could check it out. Queenie, where are we at right now? Before we explore the island more, I want to tell you about the sponsor that made this video possible, Delete Me. Did you know that data brokers are selling your personal info online? Google your name right now and see what pops up. Anything you wish wasn't there? I do. And this digital age with all your info publicly available, the risk of being harassed, stalked, or having your identity stolen is able to know where your per private and it's my your per God damn it, Tyler. Because it is now, I don't think, right? Has it grown last year or so? Yes. yes, it did. How many people live out here? We have over over about one thing. I see a little guy over here, a few kids playing ball. But everyone here, we all call each other family. How long have you guys all known each other out here? I've been here since I was 12 years old, and I'm 26 now. He's been raised here since he came out the hospital. This little guy right here. Okay. His mommy okay. is pregnant with one more. So. Okay. It looks like everyone's having a good old time out here. It is safe. It's 100% yeah. safe here. Yeah. So I see a little guy. I see those kids playing football. Do they go to school? This is number one rule. What kind of football? Your children reside here, and they're in that age bracket to go to school. They must go to school. Are you giving me the tour? Okay. So I see the signs too. It seems like there's some rules. Like we say, your children is number one. Yeah. Keep the safety of your children. There's no stealing allowed in our village. That grounds will be removed. Let's check it out. I'll shine a little flashlight. Yeah, go ahead. This is my pantry. My pantry consists of everything besides clothing and footwear. Linens, food, kitchenware. Jeez, yeah, I, everything. Yeah, come inside. All right. Come inside. Thank you so much. Yeah, we appreciate the hospitality. So where'd you guys get all this stuff? All donations. After seeing countless tent towns and homeless encampments, I've never seen anything this large and organized I'm across I got the entire country. I'm impressed. The this is crazy. You guys build your own society out here. I had no Every clue this went this far back. Of the video, oh, got the new it goes far. What we're walking down, we're walking down Fuck. section one. Each section I'm has their own captain, their own overseer. Okay. And your role is um, what exactly? I'm captain for section one. Okay. So let's say some some crazy guy comes in here and says, or someone just come in here messing around. Then we're gonna get together and get him out. Yeah. Yeah. Have you had to do that? Yes. Is it pretty common? Um. Yeah. Oh, well, we got Deep some breaths. out of state people. And majority of us is Hawaiian. Diva. Oh, Shiva. She's a little shy. We have some inspirational quotes here too. And there's a map. You guys built a freaking map. What? Look at the border right here. I'm very impressed. This is uh been to quite a few spots. I've never seen anything of this size and organization. Ivian, what what do you think allows you guys to get along so well and maintain this level of like order? Respect. Yeah. Well, I grew up believing respect. It comes in everything and anything, whether it be a rock, whether it be a person, yeah, a tree. Also, we just made it to section two. I noticed. Yes, right this is front. section two. Dang. So this has got to be very valuable land, right? Built-in library right here. Wow, okay, that's, I never would have thought all this was hiding behind this parking lot. Give it, give it a trampoline. <laughs> and see that Hell yeah. basketball court. That's epic. What's your name? Kala. I'm one of the overseas. This is team. far, um, low key. You make sure that everything is going accordingly up there for the construction wise. That make sure the homes are being built for the people down here. 
Her job is to bring everybody home, you know, and You're that's a home out of here or of home here. here, out of here to up there into permanent homes. So and how many people have you guys transitioned into permanent housing? Right now, we're still in the process of building the sections. What we're gonna do is take the kupunas and the children out of here. Okay, first. kupunas are elderly. Uh, elderly, okay. yes. One, we have seven two, sections. Okay. I am the. But it's like, it's like. I can help the economy, you know? Oh, so it's like kind of bullshit, to keep, like, but it's the whatever. Single women yeah, to the I'm front not, I'm not because pressed. It does, I don't yeah, care, it's actually. dark back here. And I try to keep them around families where they can be watched for the safety, you know? Even though we're all not cut from the same cloth, we're still family. A lot of people come out here and been houseless because of yeah. stipulations along the way that they face. Whether it was a bump in the road that they hit and they never got back up yet because all this time in their life, they was let down a lot. They so, think this place will solve their problems? Not really. No. It's just they find it home. Me, I chose to be houseless up here because because Why I didn't want to live under nobody's roof. Everybody getting priced out of paradise. My my baby sister had to move. Her and her family moved to Las Vegas to serve. I said we get a big WWE ring right over here. Five. Because I pay so great out here. It's like, what, $14 make it. minimum wage? Rent we'll make out it. here for a studio is like almost two grand. <laughs> But oh my God, he's related to The Rock. Jobs. Who is there at home to raise the children? Oh. I've seen countless locals price out. Every Islander is related to The Rock. I'm They're sorry. Hawaii, they just are. Flew over to the island they, of Maui. The Rock, so what has happened Rikishi, to the locals here nearly Rock, one year? Bro, they're, they're all related, apparently. I know they're Samoan, but... 5 5 billion plus same shit. They're probably damage, related. I don't know. People is that racist? Over 6, probably, right? I don't Some know. people now currently living in hotels, temporary housing, or tents on the beach. What does the future look like for people now on the streets? And are tourists coming back to Maui helping or aggravating the situation God of those damn, I got a shit. We have made it to Lahaina. This is your first time here. Yes, sir. When I came here, half this joint was blocked off. It was fully burnt joint. down. This is what stands. Roughly one year later. Damn, what the? A lot of this is raised completely. Who am I here with? This is Brian with Maui Gravel and Soil. I That's Hank! Hank! Deliver gravel and soil <laughs> to people all over Maui. What's changed in the last year or so since the Lahaina fires? Uh, well, we're... Re oh, fires. Oh, shit. Yo, lock in, right? This is, this is some serious fucking malarkey, dog. Watch your mouth. Building Lahaina, businesses like mine that uh, deliver dump trucks of gravel and aggregate uh, for construction purposes are very busy. And everybody's just trying their best to do their part to rebuild. Our tourists... He looked like a fucking raisin welcome in Maui right now. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. You know, tourists is where the lion's share of the money comes from. We ask that the tourists show respect for the fire victims, but that time has passed. So the tourists, of course, are welcome here on Maui. It's, it's going to take a decade or longer to fully rebuild the town of Lahaina. We just opened this store um, in the spring of last year, and it was just kind of really getting going. We were getting ramped up, and then the fires happened, and we actually yeah. didn't know if this area survived for um, a few days. It took a long time, and it's still really Really not How did the fire start? Um, as far as business. I mean, by this time in a summer season, we should be... Wait! Maui? Isn't that a Disney movie? No, Moana. Thinking, uh. Everything's booked. Lines out the door, um, which is obviously not happening. <laughs> if they walked in last summer and asked me, can I book a boat tomorrow, I would laugh at them. So right now, can I book a, book a boat? Okay. Brother Jay, how long you been here in Maui? 27 yeah. years, bro. Okay. Damn. Were you here when Lahaina fires happened? Yeah, we was here, bro. We was here. Whose uncle is that? My wife born and raised up Lahaina Luna. I'm from... He got a wife with that, dude? Fucking hell, man. The other side of the island, yeah? Where are you from before Maui? Atlanta, Georgia. So you have the Hawaiian accent, though? Yeah, I've been out here a long time. You're a full-on brother now. I'm a hybrid. What's going on <laughs> here in Lahaina? Same shit. Bro, there's no water. No drinking water? No water in the land. There's no water in the pipes. There's no... Uh, you know, since I found out he's from Georgia, he's kind of pissing me off with that No accent. water for Not nothing, bro. But I, I didn't mean no disrespect, sir. Two-faced. Motherfucking tattoo on the head. I didn't mean no disrespect. I've been here for 16 guy. years. Okay. My, almost my whole adult life. As a Howley, I don't know if that's a pejorative coming from me, are you welcome to come and move here? How has your experience been? I find moving here to be a, a touchy subject. Yeah. You can't hide that you're obviously not Hawaiian. No, I'm I'm embarrassingly white. Sure. Uh, in general, yeah. with that question. Why is that embarrassing? I find that 
um, if if one comes out here with a heart of respect and knowing that this land has a lot of history, a lot of mistrust, a lot of a lot of tragedy, you know, you don't come out here approaching it like Disneyland. Sure. You come out here approaching it with respect and wanting to learn and wanting to value the the land and the culture. Then then you don't have a problem. Can you explain? I mean, fair enough, bro. But uh, we didn't do that to the Native Americans. So and your what? tattoo on your face, the thing looks pretty cool. The fight? Family. Wait, what? When I was like, brought I get over it, bro, but... and brought into the Hawaii Kingdom, it was through a family oh. of Molokai. We started living. The Shout out all the Hawaiians, and though. The life that shit and cool. Learning and Yo, uh, and so really God damn, he got a shield on his face. It's our family genealogy. It's the water man of Molokai. What are your thoughts on brothers not from here or maybe just like from <laughs> California? Yo, Tyler need to quit this fucking act right now, bro. <laughs> you from Colorado. Getting a tattoo like a turtle that in California. Use your brain. Listening skills. Passion. I don't give a fuck. They do. <laughs> okay. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Each is yeah. on journey, bro. Each is on journey. How important is tourism to the economy, holistically? Yeah. Exceedingly important. Okay. It, it's. I say it to people all the time. Thank you for coming. Thank you for visiting us. We all want to live and eat here. Um, you know, and to live and eat here, many of us rely on tourism as an industry, for better or for worse. Okay. Did you feel okay coming here to Maui one year later after the fire, or was there some weirdness or some hesitation? We he looked like the Hawaii Batista. We never thought of anything. Okay. We didn't hesitate. We just decided to come. How's your experience been? It's been awesome. Beautiful here, yeah? Yeah, all oh, very. But it's very expensive. Are, well, are you Hawaiian? I'm Mexican. I have. He looks like the Mexican Batista. A uh, Hawaiian family that call me their Hanaisa. He looks like a Mexican Hawaiian Batista. Oh my torta! <laughs> <laughs> that, so that's why I have. Oh eight. yo, can we see it? They call me their adopted son, so I'm on the family Respect portrait. Respect each we other, mother. Want to see people okay, here come, dog, up, come back, the say what's up. <laughs> All right, so right ahead of us, we see the death of what once was Lahaina and the new Lahaina, whatever that will look like. We have straight ahead of us, Bank of Hawaii fork and salad coming soon, Lahaina cannery. It looks like fork they're going to turn this place into something Flex, completely That's not a bank like what it once was. There's going to be an entirely new Lahaina. While Maui was years away from rebuilding what once was, I met up with David's uncle, Walter, Sheesh. a Hawaiian OG descended from royal blood, to hear his thoughts on the rapid change of Hawaii in his lifetime, the effects of tourism on the island, and the seemingly inevitable fading of the Hawaiian culture. He also just happens to be on the FBI watch list for exposing some dark truths in the documentaries Damn. he made about the islands in his free time. Our view of Maui is not the same anymore. You know, it's not cool the same anymore. I remember when Maui never had any traffic lights. I remember when the, the first traffic lights in Kaului, there was one light up in Wailuku town. And then all of a sudden, Traffic lights came from all over. When it was just stop signs, people used to stop at the sign and wave to their friend across the, at the other stop sign and tell them, hey, you know what? Um, my daughter's got a birthday party Friday. You guys want to come? Yeah. And the other guy on the other stop sign would say, oh, I can come too. Yeah, you can come too. <laughs> and that's how Maui was, you know. You know, everybody yeah. was friends. Everybody had aloha. Now that get the traffic lights, get three cars running through the red light. I may have done that on accident today. <laughs> on accident, on accident. What is this world coming to? No, we're not mad at the people that came. I am, bro. Get the fuck out. Look, uh, you just needed to show me this guy. I'm pissed. I'm fucking mad. It's just the change that decided. Because I believe the Hawaiians left. We're going to come back, and we're going to kidnap you if you're down. What the okay. fuck? What the hell is going on in Hawaii, man? Unk. We just had an hour plus drive. <laughs> Tyler, dude. Have to get here. Where are we at? Tell me about this place. This place is called Kahiki Nui. Okay. Oasis. Interesting. Yo, how much do you think this house costs? It just gotta be kind of lonely though. Waking up and staring at nothing. Cause there's like there's nothing here. Like maybe if there's trees and shit, then like you could look. But this is kind of scary, low key. Oh, never did mind. Holy fucking macaroni sauce! Did you end up with this land? Damn. Uh, back in the 90, 1990 something, but. 
This land consists Yo, of 20,000 acres. Okay. And this is Hawaiian homeland. Right? How much do you think this would sell for on oh, the market? Priceless. Priceless? Right. Billion dollar view, in my opinion. Right. Billion with a B. <laughs> and speaking of billionaires, Oprah lives out here somewhere, right? Yeah, in Ulupalapur. I imagine she paid a lot more than you did to live here, right? That's a Pretty much. Yeah. So, so I'm honored and I'm privileged to yeah. be here. Is that my you dog? also have a crazy story on your dad's too. side too, right? Yeah, he had some land up in um, Wahe, and the plantation owner, sugar plantation, needed the land. They tried to convince him that he should move out so many times, and he wouldn't do it. Finally, they accused him of having leprosy. Leprosy. Okay. And they shipped him to the island of Molokai. And I know that he wasn't the only one. And he didn't even have leprosy? When he died, the autopsy so, showed no signs of leprosy. So that was a tactic, uh, what Americans were using to steal yeah, land from? Yeah, to get the land. Okay. He died in the leprosy colony with no leprosy. Taken from his family, his friends. Okay. It's not easy to come out here and build. And, Did you, you build know. this house right here? Yeah. Bare hands? Wow. Yeah. Nice. Dang. <laughs> Can we see the guns? Guns? Yeah. <laughs> Let's say the average Hawaiian. Are they going to end up on the mainland just getting driven out, or are they going to end up on the streets out here? There's only so much land. And you know, the Department of Hawaiian Homes, they should um, address the problem. Why are people are leaving? Why are people leaving? And yeah. they got so much land. There's so much land, like 20,000 acres over here. And only 20 of us got homes. Why don't they live more? When did you start noticing millionaires and billionaires coming in here and buying second homes, vacation homes, turning them to Airbnbs, and now forcing property taxes to go up that they can't afford Well, I pay? noticed it back in the late 60s and the early 70s. Okay. You know, the, the winter birds yeah, yeah. coming in. <laughs> if we didn't welcome foreigners, yeah. I wouldn't have my wife. I see. There she is. Oh, wow. 50 years of happy marriage, right? 51 years. So he Holy. built this with his bare hands for context. We have the bed, double bunk bed. Yeah, for the kids. It's beautiful. It's, nice, it's kind of a, it's uh, so quiet out here. It, it gets me. I've been to such a quiet, no noise pollution, no light pollution. That's no amazing, pollution bro. at all. You told me Oprah lives around here. Do you think there's that sort of aloha I give to you and you give back to me mentality when it comes to like the ultra rich, some of these people buying, building resorts? Honestly, they got money to throw in. Yeah. And so they keep buying and buying and buying. And that's their, that's their privilege. To, so you can't stop them from doing it. You can help so many people. I mean, I don't have Oprah money or anything like that, but I think the perspectives alone have value. If my father can do, then I can do. <laughs> Whatever he can, I can do. You know, so. Yeah. It's like all the Samoans and frog splashes. Your job is Does to that joke make, make sense? Where the fuck is Samoa? I'm gonna look this up, bro. That they can. I listen to the voice of my ancestors. Shit, hold on. They cry out to me. Return to the land of Kahiki Nui. Ualoheau in a leo. Ona kupuna. Kahea la ko iau. Eho i oi i Kahiki Nui. I know Koku Puna. A ho e oi kikinui. Kaina o koa loa. Ah, kia koa. Make make ao e nana e ko maka. When I came, first came to the land out here. Samoa's like deep, son. Holy shit. Alright, that's incredibly uh, wrong. <laughs> I came out here and I was camping on the grass. Fuck. And in the middle of the night, an owl came in, perched himself right on my shoulders. The thing that came to my mind was, if this is the, the owl's home and I'm in his home, then he's welcomed me, me, home. And that's, that night I also wrote that song. Major shout out to Uncle Walter, David, and Jamin. Go subscribe to David and Jamin. To Yo, watch. shout out Uncle Walt, bro. That was a great video, Tyler. Um... I didn't even know this was a problem in Hawaii. Like, if, probably if I thought about it, it would be like, yeah, it's probably a problem. I didn't realize it. No one talks about it. Shout out, Tyler. Shout out you for watching this video. And hit the sub button. I don't think I've gained a sub in seven years. Bye.